Hello, my name is Becky Webb, and I am a nutritional therapy practitioner, a Young Living Royal Crown Diamond, and a business coach, a health coach, and what I really love is helping people find their sweet spot, whether that be in health, life, or business. So I wanted to talk to y'all a little bit today. It's the beginning of the year, beginning of 2019. I wanted to talk to you a little bit today about breaking the pattern. Now what I've found is a lot of times people create New Year's resolutions, people create business goals, people create health goals, but they get into the new year still not quite being able to break the pattern. We've heard the phrase that human beings are creatures of habit, right? Sometimes being a creature of habit is a great thing. Sometimes being a creature of habit is not, not a great thing. So habits can be good. Consistent, consistently using Young Living products, for example, I've seen members do amazing crazy things with their health by consistently using the products. Um, I know that when I'm consistently eating junk food, I also consistently crave junk food. And we know that is not a good thing, right? When I'm consistently loving my husband, then I'm consistently improving my marriage. As human beings, we make habits. Habits are good, habits can be bad. But what about when a habit is no longer serving us? Occasionally, so a lot of times, especially this time of year, when I, you know, when I started talking about our New Year's resolutions, where we want to reach our goals, sometimes we remain in our old habits and those habits, those are just not serving us at all. So what happens? You've created a pattern in your life. Whether it's a good pattern or a bad pattern, those bad habits are creating a bad pattern. So a lot of times those, those patterns no longer serve you, right? You need to break that pattern. So I want to specifically address New Year's, revolution, New Year's resolutions this morning um, as we're talking about breaking patterns, New Year's goals. We already are in two weeks into New Year's, into 2019, and some of you aren't seeing any progress in reaching your goals. Maybe it has to do with your health goals, your financial goals, maybe your family goals, maybe being present, maybe your business goals. Either way, you're stuck in a pattern. You need to be the one to break the pattern. You, you need to be the one to break the pattern. Not someone else, not your spouse, not your brother, not your sister. And oftentimes people hire coaches to help them break patterns, but ultimately you're the one that's responsible for breaking your own pattern. You actually have that power to break your pattern, believe it or not. I know that a lot of people go through life thinking they cannot break their pattern or they go through life beating themselves up that they don't break their pattern. But honestly, what they miss out on is the shift of taking the power that they already have and breaking that pattern. So how do you take steps to break it? Let me give you some um, thoughts and ideas on how to break it. If you're familiar with Mel Robbins, um, she has the book, The Five Second Rule, and she has some incredible information in that book and how the brain works. Mel Robbins, Tony Robbins, it's funny, both their na last names are Robbins, but they're two of my favorite coaches that have great ideas in breaking the patterns, okay? So when you talk to Mel Robbins, she talks about her five second rule, which is counting backwards from five. So say, let's give the example that you can't get out of bed in the morning, okay? You're laying in bed, you don't wanna get out of bed, it's a hard day, you're thinking about the things that are hard. You're thinking about why you don't wanna get out of bed and why you'd rather just go back to sleep. And then you look and you say, no, no, five, four, three, two, one, go. Five, four, three, two, one, go, get out of bed. Five, four, three, two, one, go, brush your teeth. Five, four, three, two, one, go, get in the shower. Five, four, three, two, one, go. What do you wanna do in your business today? What do you wanna do in your Young Living business today? What do you wanna do in your a project that you're creating today? Maybe you're writing a book. What do you wanna to do to make changes in your life today that you didn't do yesterday? And what I tell my team is, is that yesterday was yesterday, today is today, so let's move forward with today. 
And a lot of times we get so down on ourselves that we don't move forward with today. Go work out, five, four, three, two, one, go. Five, four, three, two, one, go get off your phone. It's not serving you. Go do the dang thing that you want to do, okay? A lot of you have these things that you just, you wanna do it, but you can't figure out why or how or what to do. Five, four, three, two, one, go do something. And I guarantee you that once you start doing things, it starts a snowball effect. And that snowball effect will allow you to jump into other things. It will allow your creativity to flow. Now you may not believe it, but you were created to influence people. You were created to um, help people, change people. You have a story to tell. And a lot of days, you don't let yourself go there to tell your story to other people. And you know what it's doing? It's not only doing you a disservice, but it's doing them a, a disservice. Okay? So get up and do something different. Most of the time we have negative self-talk that keeps us in our patterns, but actually setting ourselves, be able to get out of it, we have the decision to move, okay? We have the decision to shift ourselves out of those patterns. So here's some other tools that I use on a regular basis to help shift myself out of some of those patterns and keep myself out of those patterns. So I love Mel Robbins five second rule, but I also love my abundance essential oil. I use abundance on my wrists. I drop it on my head. It's incredible to help create feelings and reminders that you deserve abundance. So are you going to claim it today? Are you going to claim your abundance today? So, I use abundance, I use it in my diffuser. I use it on, I most of the time I have a diffuser bracelet on and I use it on that. I use it topically, I use it aromatically. Another thing I like to do is, so your brain, this is really exciting, your brain, the limbic system is the seat of your emotions. It depends on sense a lot of times. It actually functions very well on sense. It helps you memorize and or remember and concrete things when you smell things, I wish I would have known this in grade school and high school when I was memorizing things, but the seed of your emotions. So this is why when you walk into a kitchen and you smell cookies, baking, chocolate chip cookies, you think of grandma. Grandma used to, you know, bake chocolate chip cookies and now it makes you think of her. So your oils can work the same way. All right, your vision oil, for example, if you can envision the future you want to have and how it makes you feel and you continue to smell this oil, then whenever you need to remember what your why is and the future you wanna have, you can go back with your Envision Oil. It's amazing. It's amazing how this process works. Okay, same with motivation. So you're in your, you're in your now and you're like, no, this is not gonna be my future. My future is gonna to change today. Five, four, three, two, one, go. I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna make it happen. You start working, you start being motivated. Even if it's short-lived, start smelling your motivation oil, drop it on your head, use it on your wrist, smell it, smell it. Think about the things that, are, that you want to do with your life that are motivating you. Go do a project, smell it, or do one step of a project. Smell your motivation oil. Watch it make changes in your life, okay? Another thing is transformation. What kind of life do you want to have? Again, similar to Envision, or how do you want to be transformed? Write out some ways you want to be transformed. Read them. Use your transformation oil. Allow yourself to be transformed. Allow yourself to move forward. Allow yourself not to get stuck in the same old rut, okay? Transformation oil is incredible. I have all my business members use these for their business as well because we all get stuck in ruts. I'm a real crown diamond. It happens to me too. I'm, you know, I know I'm not the only one. I know it happens to all of us. But the difference between some people and other people is the people that decide to step out of their comfort zone and say, no, this has to be different. And they put tools in place to make things different. So today I wanna to challenge you. I want you to be inspired. These oils, if you don't have them yet, they will help inspire you. They will help you um, enjoy those dreams and hopes you have for your life and concrete them into your memory because you can help bring them back. Like all of us get a little lost sometimes. We want to help bring them back. They can help that. Help with your motivation. 
Help with your vision for the future. Help with transforming your life and your thoughts. Help with your future. Allow abundance in. They can all help. They can be very useful tools for that process. So will you allow the process to happen? Five, four, three, two, one, go. Five, four, three, two, one, go. I'm gonna do something. I'm gonna use my motivation. I'm gonna remember what I want my future to be and I'm going to let that drive me. I'm going to remember what I want different for my family. I want freedom for my family. I don't wanna be tied to my nine to five. And I am going to grow my Young Living business or write my book or be that health coach or be that business coach or, you know, whatever else you have on your dream list that's been calling your name for so long that it hurts and you've almost lost hope. So today, it's time. Take, take charge, take control of your future because it's 2019 and don't let 2019 pass you by. Have an awesome day.